Well, the farm to table movement has made its way to the Pets Bowl and our pets are eating great these days. Joining us to talk about how you can feed your four legged friends with wholesome ingredients is top chef master's star, Chef Carrie Herfernan and his Labadoodle Benny. Good morning. And I, yeah, we were talking a minute ago, Benny's getting a salmon sandwich or something like that. How you doing, Carrie? I'm doing well, Tom. How are you? I'm doing fine, sir. Tell us, you know, you've got some stuff whipping up right now. And from the farm to the table, we're talking about feeding our pets some very, very healthy foods. What are you whipping up today? You bet. So what we're going to make, you know, for us is a mousse of uh, wild smoked salmon with sprouts, cucumber, and Meyer lemon zest. Very seasonal, very bright, and even great at this hour of the morning. Now, these, our pets will really jump at eating these. They seem to be somewhat off of the ordinary, something out of the can that you would normally have, but you're feeding this to the pets, is that right? No, this, 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 this is for you and I, but um, you know, at Nature's Table, the most important thing that we can do is to make sure that you have high quality protein as the first ingredient. Things like ranch-raised beef, bison, cold water salmon, these, these are the first ingredients you'll find when you're looking at the ingredient list, which you should do you know, for yourself, obviously, when you're looking to buy something, but you should also consider the same thing and having uh, high quality uh, foods that are raised by people that you know and trust. And that's the whole idea of farm to table for us. And I think it should be no reason not to carry it over for our animals. You know, there's some specific farm grown foods that are best for our pets. How do we know these ingredients benefit our four legged friends? Um, well, I think it's been proven that this, the same things that are healthy for us are, are often healthy for our animals. So lean, high quality protein, uh, complex carbohydrates, things like legumes, fruits, vegetables, you know, apples, cranberries, uh, we have peas, carrots, all these things that are just as healthy for you and I are great for your animals as well. And it's just the way you actually prepare it a lot of times because a lot of dogs, especially dogs or cats, might not like just a straight carrot, but if you mix it together with something, then you've got an ingredient that they'll just lap up and eat, eat like crazy. That's right. You could, you could prepare it yourself, but what I do is I actually buy the, the prepared food because it's so much easier and he really loves it. And now we're seeing Benny right there. I mean, gorgeous lab of doodle, no doubt about that. What's one of Benny's favorite foods? Well, he loves chicken and who doesn't? <laughs> Oh yeah. Now, does he like it? Does he like it on the grill, or does he like it prepared? Because you are the top chef there uh, with with the food industry for the dogs. But I mean, what what does he like to normally have? Grilled, barbecued? What does he like? Generally, what I do is to, is to cut the chicken up and actually make a, a quick uh, braise of it with some vegetables and pour it over, you know, some of the dry food. That's his favorite. Very That's good. a special treat. Wonderful stuff. How can we get some more information on this, uh, chef? Tom, you can go to InnovaPet.com. Very good. Thank you so much. And uh, tell Benny we said hi and hope to see you again real soon. Come to see us in Charleston. Will do. Cheers. Cheers. And we've got more coming up after the break, so stay with us.